Okay. Do you support the Pilgrim River Watershed Conservation Project that will provide permanent public access for recreation to 1,382 acres of the Pilgrim River Valley? Yes, I do. Um, I've always been supportive of that. What I, I think we're no longer in a smokestack industry. We're in a sort of a thinking, a think stack industry, I guess. Somebody used that word. What gets people to your community and marketable people who have, uh, you know, all sorts of values and have good credentials that want to reside here is a, like I said, a sense of place, a place where people want to come and reside. And when you look at Marquette, I look at them and all the infrastructure that they have for paths and trails and recreational outlets, they're expanding their sense of place by taking that tack. So this watershed, when it's affixed to the ski trail, it, it, it gives us a tremendous draw, in my opinion, for people to want to come and reside in Portage Township and have this recreational out nearby, near them, that's for perpetuity. I, I think it's a great deal. Thank you. Okay. Michigan law mandates that a township enforce its ordinances through the courts if necessary. Do you agree with that law, and would you vote for enforcement, even if you personally disagreed with the ordinance, or if it involved a friend? Why or why not? We don't have a choice in enforcing our zoning codes. That is the Zoning Enabling Act that we find ourselves under that, that allows us to, to pursue that. Uh, we don't have a choice. Um, I, I don't have a choice. I can't have a conflict of interest. I can't uh, you know, be um, selective in my enforcement procedures. Uh, the Zoning Administrator, John Marshall, uh, he can't be selected in, in, his, in, in his enforcement criteria. That's one thing that's come out of this consent judgment with the Valley View Quarry, is that that document will allow us, if there is another quarry, another mineral extrication endeavor cited in the township, that will give us some basis of fact in our, um, you know, to help identify and to uh, um, make them accountable in the same manner that we made the Valley View Quarry accountable in the consent judgment. So it, we can't just willy-nilly select what we're going to enforce. Thank it you. has to be equal across the board. That leads us right directly into our next question. So did you vote yes on the consent agreement with the Valley View Quarry? Why or why not? That's the question said. Did you vote yes on the consent agreement with Valley View Quarry? Why or why not? We went to the 12th Circuit Court. We were told, we the township was told, that we were going to be sued either uh, by the concerned citizens for not enforcing our zoning laws. Uh, I, I, should, I guess you'd call it non feasance So we went and enjoined with them. We won in all accounts. Uh, as soon you know, all accounts, meaning administrative law, exclusionary zoning, uh, uniqueness of product, you name it. We went on all those accounts. Um, we then um, sort of were blindsided by House Bill 4746. That changed the law entirely. So both sides agreed to pursue a consent judgment. Consent judgment is 14 pages. It outlines uh, work hours, noise abatement, uh, dust abatement. It sets up money to remediate the quarry. How do you define, find a quarry when it closes uh, that's in there? So I voted in favor of it. It took 11 months and a lot of negotiations to get it. It now we can only find ourselves regulating these kind of endeavors. We cannot enforce any kind of planning and zoning against them. Nobody in the state can as a 4746. So we are in a regulatory mode, and uh, we have to we have to enforce this consent judgment.